Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss rules for linear equations. So here we have a linear equation, y equals 3x plus 5. First, we want to think about what does it mean for an equation to be linear? What this means is that on the right-hand side of the equation, we can only have our independent variable raised to the first power and constants. We can't, for example, have something like y equals x squared because this is a power greater than 1. We also can't have any other type of function that manipulates an independent variable. We can't have a trigonometric function, for example. That's not linear either. So, what are some of the rules associated with linear equations? First, if you're going to manipulate an equation in any way, anything you do to one side of the equation must also be done to the other. So for example, you can't simply say, I'm going to subtract 5 from here, and that's it. Because you're creating a new equation, you're not modifying the old one. You can, however, subtract 5 from both sides of the, of the equation. Minus 5, minus 5, we get y minus 5 equals 3x. These two are the same equation. Second rule of linear equations is that unless you have a constant linear equation, such as y equals 5, every input value will have exactly one output value associated with it, and vice versa. So what this means is that, let's say you're creating a table of values. You plug in some value, say 1, and you plug in some other value, let's say 10. Well, let's say that for both of these you get an output of 4. Unless the equation is y equals 4, this can't happen. So you've probably made an error somewhere, somewhere along the line because every input value has exactly one output value associated with it. And those are the rules for linear equations. Once again, my name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed rules for linear equations.